hello what's up youtube brownies with that and actual and in this one i'll show you guys how to create your own actions that are going to speed up your skin retouching process in photoshop so this is a tutorial that is going to guide you on how to create your own actions that are going to help you uh, quicken or fasten your skin retouching process and maybe doing specific uh, things in your images so let's kick in and start learning about this very nice and wonderful technique of how to create actions in just photoshop so let's kick in and start with the skin retouching actions so for this case we're going to first do the frequency separation actions then we're going to do the global dodging, dodging and burning actions rather eye and teeth whitening and maybe an action that is going to help us boost are the blacks in an image so let's kick in and we do that right away so first of all under frequency passion you have noticed that the image is divided into two so we are going to start by creating those layers and before we do all that you have to come right here window i'm just going to come right here to window and i'm going to come to actions to open this action panel right here so when it is opened, you have to first of all create a group. If at all you want to create all your actions or for skin retouching, you simply have to come right here and create a new set under this group or folder like icon. So we're going to name this uh, skin retouching. Just like that. So just come and hit OK. And when you hit OK, you're going to notice that it has opened this it has created this folder under action so we want to create our very first action for our skin retouching and th this is going to be the frequency separation action so first of all we're going to come right here and they're going to come and click on this plus icon and we're going to we are going to name our first action maybe a frequency fs and we're going to name that eight eight bit so we want to create First of all, the 8-bit uh, frequency separation action. And the set is right here. That is skin retouching. Function key can as well assign a function key for your action. And maybe F1 command. This is going to be like a shortcut that you're going to just press when you're going to play your action. And you can come and assign a color. We're just going to choose red. And when you're done doing all this, just come and hit record and you're going to notice that your action has already started recording and the action is right here plus each shortcut. So we want first of all create those two uh, frequency separation layers that are created in the images. So we want to divide this image into two. You're going to come to this background layer and you're going to hit Ctrl or Command J twice. And you're going to name this Low. And you're going to name the app layer high just like this so even if you're creating your action for a 16-bit image you have to notice i'm going to be sharing everything in this very step so first of all when you come to these frequency separation layers you have to notice that the low frequency contains the colors or the skin tones and the high frequency contains the textures all the outlines in the image so we're going to first of all turn off the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer and after, after selecting it we have to blur out the textures or remove the textures from this low frequency layer so we're basically going to come to filter then come to blur and we are going to come to gaussian blur so for this step you have to i know if i told you i've been following my skin retouching actions or processes you always know that uh, for this case you have to zoom into the image and look for that particular part that has most textures and move it until you lose out on the skin textures of an image but that is not going to differ so yeah we're just going to choose any radius and we're just going to hit okay just like that so we want the action to to stop at this uh, Gaussian blast step because the images we are going to be dealing with are going to be differing in terms of the cameras used and the textures embedded in the images and secondly 
the images may be close-ups or full body images so just want to differentiate that when we reach uh, that step so that we can apply a different radius so in order to stop that just come and uh, select this option so the action is going to stop at this very point so that you can feed in the respective Gaussian blur radius according to the images so when you're done doing that come and select the high frequency layer and activate it to get back the information in the image then come to image and come to apply image and since this is an 8-bit image you're going first of all I know this may be confusing I'm just going to close this for a while so you can see if at all you have an 8-bit or 16-bit or 32-bit image you can just see right on this digit right here I hope you can see my cursor right there so for an 8-bit image the settings you have to come and first of all select the low frequency layer because you're stealing the textures from the low frequency layer and the blending mode is always subtract and now make sure opacity is 100 the scale is 2 and offset 128 preserve transparency and the mask are not checked and make sure invert is also not checked or selected always make sure that your preview is on and when you zoom in you're going to notice that your textures are on this gray kind of layer and is lacking the colors and the skin tones and just come and simply hit ok but if at all you have a 16-bit image these are going to be different so come and select the low frequency layer just right here and come and select the blending from whichever or from multiply to add and opacity 100 the scale is always 2 offset 0 and make sure you turn on the invert and you'll have the same information right here but we have an 8-bit image so just going to come select the low frequency layer and come to subtract opacity 100 scale is 2 offset 128 and make sure you don't turn on the invert option and always make sure the preview is on so that you can see the information right here and just come and hit ok come the blending mode and change it from normal and change it to a linear light just like that and when you're done doing so some people prefer to are we going to put these two in a group by selecting both and hitting ctrl command g on the keyboard and you're going to name that fs for frequency separation just like this and you're going to open this but as you know usually in my frequency separation group i always embed or put a black and white layer inside it so just come and select the high frequency layer and just come to the adjustments and come and click on black and white and just darken so that you have a starting point when you're going to use the mixer brush tool and after you you you're done doing so come and select the low frequency layer you can as well come and set up your mixer brush tool and just select it and when you're done doing that and setting up all this information in the mixer brush tool you can now come right down here to actions and the action is now we are done doing so so we have to stop the action so that it can stop playing just come and hit or select on stop so that the action can be stopped and it can be saved so you're just going to close this so we just want to see if at all the action we have just created is really working so i'm just going to delete this whole folder or set and I'm just going to come and select the 8-bit FS that we have just created and hit play and you can see it has automatically stopped on that point whereby we have to feed in the radius and after doing so just hit OK and the action is going to continue playing so I think we are done creating the frequency separation action so the next has to be the global dodging and burning action and in order to create that we'll be using curves to do the global dodging and burning so you don't have to come and create over those steps for the global dodging and burning so we have to come right to the curves and before we come right here we just have to record this action right away so just come right here click on the plus icon and you're going to name that add d and b for global dodging and burning so capital D and B for dodging and burning 
So you can as well assign a function key if at all you wish to. Then choose a color. I'm just going to choose yellow and come and click record. So just want to start recording the action for dodging and burning. So I'm going to come down here and we're going to come to our curves adjustment layers. Remember dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights or the lights and the shadows in a particular image. So make a midpoint after creating the curves and just brighten up the image just slightly, just like that. And when you're done doing so, close this and make sure this white is selected. Hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard to hide that effect. Remember, black hides and white reveals. So that's why the effect has been hidden behind this mask right here. So we're going to name that. Remember, we just brighten that area. Just we're going to name that Dodge because we have just brightened and hidden the effect right behind here. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to create the second one. Then click in the middle and now darken just like that. And make sure this is selected. Hit Ctrl or Command I, and you're going to name this burn. Remember, when you're burning, will be burning the shadows. You're going to put these two in a group by hitting Shift and clicking on both, and hitting Ctrl or Command G, and you're going to name that group uh, D and B for dodging and burning. And when we're done doing so, we can simply come and select the dodge layer, and come and make sure white is on the foreground so that every time we play this action white is also is always going to be on top and come under the brushes and select your brush tool come to the opacity and you can as well come and set up the opacity i think i prefer to use nine percent and the flow of 100 smoothing at zero and this is it so you can start doing your dodging and burning or painting over the areas you want to highlight or darken in a particular image. So when you're done setting all those, just come to the action option and you can come and stop playing your action. And you're going to scroll all the way up and you're going to close this. So you're going to select this and you're going to delete it. So we want to see if at all it has been able to save our process for the dodging and burning. So come and select it and hit the play icon and it is going to automatically play everything and set the brush for you so that you can just get a brush and start painting over those areas you want to dodge and burn in a particular image. So you're just going to select this and you're going to delete it. So the next action I wanted to share with you guys is uh, the action about the eye and teeth whitening and this is going to be a very short and pre and really precise uh, tool for eye and teeth whitening in just Photoshop and not camera roll this time around. We're going to come right to the actions and under our skin retouching actions, we're going to come and simply uh, come and create a new action. You're going to name that eye and teeth just like this and hit uh, the record you can as well choose a function key for it and just come and hit record and it's going to start recording and under this we're going to simply come to the photo filter just right here and come and choose the cooling filter 82 and when it is uh, when it starts cooling uh, down this image uh, to this extent just uh, leave the density at around 25 just leave it the way it is and just close this. So make sure this white mask is selected. Hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard to hide this effect. And as well come to the brush and select it. And after selecting it, make sure white is on the foreground. So always make sure white is on the foreground. Get your soft round brush. Opacity this time around is going to be at 100% and the flow at 100%. Smoothing at zero and you can now reduce on the size and start painting over the eyes and teeth to uh, Reveal the effect that was hidden. So let me Leave it at this and I stop the action and I show you guys how this basically works I'm just going to Come and I'm going to stop the action. I'm just going to come back here up 
and I'm just going to just minimize that. So select this and I'm just going to delete it. Come and play it, select it, and I'm going to play that action. And it has selected the brush and the settings for me. So simply come and start painting over each and every individual tooth. I know it may be like too much, but you shouldn't worry. So I'm just going to do a rough eye and teeth whitening just like this. So if at all you feel like it is too much for your liking after doing the eye and teeth whitening, so just come to the opacity and just reduce on the opacity. So you can see the before and the after, before, after. So this is how to create your eye and teeth whitening actions. So I'm just going to uh, delete that too. So we want to create our last action for this very tutorial and that is the uh, enhancing of the blacks in the image. So you're just going to come back to the actions and do the same. So come to our set and you're going to come and create a new action and this time around you're going to name that enhance blacks just like that and hit the function key gray so you can just choose any color you want and just come and record so you just want to create an action that is going to enhance the darks or the blacks in the image so come down here to selective color and come under the blacks and just come and just move the blacks just a little bit just like that i think uh, that is okay and you can simply close this and now Come back to the actions and you can now stop playing your action. I think that is really simple and you can just close this. So we're going to delete this and you're going to see what it is going to do. Come and select it and play it and you can notice that it has just enhanced or darkened the blacks even more. So basically this is how to create and save your frequency passion or skin retouching actions that are going to fasten your uh, skin retouching processes and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to create your actions that is the very first thing i know so many people are going to start asking me about creating actions for them and giving them out for free but i think it would be better that you create your own actions so that even when you lose them you can always sit down and create them from scratch so this has been a story about all that and if at all you have found this story don't don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to give me a comment in the comment section ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another try and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating and create those actions